The Lake Osborne Estates, the entire neighborhoods under a precautionary boil water notice due to a water main break yesterday. This comes just two months after the same community had been drinking E. coli contaminated water for almost a week after another water main break. News Channel 5's Alyssa Hyman now live in that neighborhood to explain what neighbors want to see changed. Alyssa? Well, the people here want precautionary boil water notices to go out warning them of potentially contaminated water. They want those immediately, regardless of the circumstances surrounding the water main break. Meanwhile, there are new questions tonight about whether the water company notified the health department properly. Jason Conrad is taking no chances with his drinking water especially after seeing this water main break in his Lake Osborne Estates neighborhood Tuesday. So I became very concerned. It brings back bad memories. I got sick, my neighbors got very sick. To when his entire neighborhood discovered it had been drinking E. coli contaminated water for nearly a week before any boil water notifications went out. His neighbor, Pan Wallace, isn't taking any chances either. Her husband is in stage four renal failure. If he drinks contaminated water, then I might lose him. Well, it took about 24 hours. We are issuing a precautionary notice. It seems the water company and the health department aren't taking any chances either, sending out these precautionary boil water notices to all the customers, even though it's not normally required if the break is repaired under pressure. It's not a change of protocol. It's just, you know, we, we probably are looking a little closer this time. Uh, and we're advising them to also look a little closer. But people here say those warnings should be required, saying they don't want to wait for the water test samples to come back for them to find out if their water is safe to drink. I feel as if there's a need to test the water, there should be a need for the notifications to go out at that time. Now, the question is, did the water company properly notify the health department and soon enough? Now, the health department says it should be notified within two hours of the initial discovery of the break, wow. saying that it's possible that a customer notified them first about the water main break. I did talk to the water company, U.S. Water Services. They say they notified the health department as soon as the repairs were made, and the health department says this is all being looked at. That timeline is under investigation. Now, the water samples, the first water samples, are set to come back tomorrow. Reporting live in Lake Worth, Alyssa Hyman, WPTV News Channel 5.